concerning silk in the New World, because both the Jaredite record and the Nephite record talk about silk. In fact, in the Jaredite record, it talks about silks indicating more than one type. And I guess a lot of people don't realize that there's more than one type of silk. There's uh, the true silkworm, which is the scientific name is Bombex mori, and that's the one that was used by the Chinese, and it's strictly an old world type of moth whose larvae is a silkworm. But uh, in the New World, there are also caterpillars. They belong to a different family, Saturniidae, as I recall. And they produce silk as well. Even spider silk. I mean, the webs of spiders is considered a type of silk. Just not substantial enough to make clothing out of. But from other things other than the, the true silkworm, uh, these other ones do spin a silk that can be weaved into a fabric. So when they say silks, that's possible too. Even other insects make silk type of materials that could be used. I, I guess further than that too, there's other things. Um, it's been recorded, uh, John Sorensen brought this up, a uh, retired archeologist from BYU. And he said the Spanish were calling the fine weaving of the fur from the belly of a rabbit, a type of silk. And there's a kapok tree or a ceiba tree that uh, produces kapok. In fact, my first sleeping bag was made out of this stuff which isn't very good for insulating. I found out in a cold night, that um, this stuff can be woven into a fabric that's very silk-like and can be called silk as well. So I see no problem in having silk in the new world.